I'm going to be very transparent and honest. I am frustrated. Me and my family just trying to eat food. That's all we try to do. At the same time, I am frustrated. I understand we are all humans. I do not agree. I do not support. I do not condone shame in this business based on my experience. Like every city we've been to. A TikTok star goes on a food tour, rating restaurants across the country and here in Atlanta. But is it in bad taste? Plus, we get the skinny on skims becoming the official underwear for pro athletes on the hardwood. Entertainment contributor Ali Lynn joins us with the 411. Ali, good morning to you. And let's start with the food critic. We're talking about Keith Lee sparking heated debate with his take on some popular restaurants. So which ones are we talking about? Well, listen, you know, when you got about 14 million viewers, over 600 Ooh. million views, you know, you're not so big of a deal, right? <laughs> so he goes to about 9 million restaurants, nine restaurants, not million, nine restaurants, which probably felt like 9 million going back to back. <laughs> Atlanta Breakfast Club, the Seafood Menu, Juicy Jerk, the Real Milk and Honey, Dining Experience Atlanta, the Bodega, the J Jamaican Jerk Biz, Old Lady Gang, and Toast on Linux. So he went on an entire tour now he's been gearing up for this tour to share for quite some time and he actually took to tiktok for people to advise him on where to go well the thing about it is um he didn't have the best experience in atlanta <laughs> he really did it and um can you tell us about some of the ones like some very popular ones like old lady yeah. gang uh that he yeah. had a little bit of an issue with and i think there's the real well, milk and yeah. honey the atlanta breakfast club so which ones do you want to talk about Oh, gosh. Well, we can talk about, uh, let's talk about, mm, let's talk about Old Lady Gang. Okay. So, apparently, he goes in there, and he's, like, waiting. Uh, the people said that they can't see him. It's going to be about an hour, 30-minute wait. So, he's like, uh. Okay, but get this. He sends a family member in there to get the information. When he comes in, they're like, oh, we got a table for you in five minutes. And so he's like, no, nah, that ain't cool. Candy takes to Instagram, of course, and she kind of gives them, oh, Keith, we hate that we missed you. Uh, you know, when it's uh, uh, during the weekend, we try not to do to-go orders and things like that, blah, blah, blah. No. Totally skipping over the fact that he got played with with his time because he sent in a family member as a decoy. Oh. So the thing about it is he tries to get these real deal experiences so people when they go they know what to expect but you can't just go in there and just you know say one thing and then turn around and see it's him and then it's a whole nother vibe and energy come on <laughs> I, I'm taking a lot of these restaurateurs are gonna have to say something on um, social media so but he you know what he does encourage patrons to try the restaurants for themselves he's not saying not to go to them right he does, and I think that that's the cool part about it, right? So it's like, even though this is my experience, this may not be your experience, which is fine. I still want to highlight these things. He, he really wants to support small businesses and businesses of color as well. So I, I'm here for it. But Atlanta got to tighten up. We got to tighten up. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And let's move along to Kim Kardashian because she really scored a huge deal. Yeah, and I was going to say, speaking of tightening up, it's going to be a lot of body parts that are tightened up and snatched up with Kim. <laughs> she just signed a deal, of course, with the NBA, the WNBA and USA Basketball. It was announced on yesterday. The men's brand, uh, I think it dropped on October the 26th, but Skills was founded back in 2019, a little bit right before the pandemic, and she has been going hard. I remember when she first dropped it, she sold $2 million in like 15 minutes. It was sold out. It's insane. And so she just keeps catching coins. It's, she's shooting her shot and it's going in. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Ali, as always, thank you so much for joining us this morning with the 411. Thanks so much for having me. Keep up with Ali on social